couldn't imagine my life without him because everywhere I look, he'd be right by me. I am just really happy that he's back here. Compassionate viewers, welcome to today's Animal World, our co-inhabitants, featuring the touching story of a family's deep love for their beloved canine companion, Blazer. The whole neighborhood has watched Blazer grow up with our children. We are so happy to have him home. It's so thankful that the not just our community, but other people from other states wanted to help, help us with Blazer. It's just amazing. Almost everyone in the town of Port Orchard, Washington, USA, has now heard of the brave Border Collie Blazer, best friend of the Roller family's young son, Daniel. To the townspeople, the intelligent canine is a respected hero who once helped to find a local child who was lost in the woods. The seven-year-old Blazer and his 10-year-old caregiver, Daniel, share a loving bond and spend lots of time with each other. Daniel got him when he was five years old, and they've been together ever since. And wherever Daniel was, there's Blazer. Yeah. In the woods, around the street, anywhere. Front yard, anywhere. In August 2010, to the Roller family's distress, Blazer disappeared on the very same day that Katie Roller had a serious auto accident where the family car was totaled and her injuries were so severe that it almost resulted in an amputation of her leg. While Ms. Roller was in the hospital, Blazer didn't come home that day or the following one. He would Mommy, stay out maybe I'm one night I'm and come home, but after three days was too I'm long. We knew something was wrong. After being discharged from the hospital, Katie Roller joined her family and local residents in searching for Blazer. We were worried that something had happened to him. So we put up some flyers at the school and the grocery store and the convenience store and telephone poles just around the neighborhood, hoping that someone had seen him. Okay, Daniel, let's cut this out. Make another flyer. And we can put these at the end of the road. You hit all the telephone poles. I'll make more. You go put that at that end of the street, and that one at that end of the street. And by the time you get home, we'll have more for you, okay? Sound good? All right. Did you get a lot of help from your neighbors? Oh yeah, we got just people that just knew us from walking up and down the street, pushing the kids in the stroller from when they were little growing up and just seeing us walk up and down. Just they'd honk and wave hi. And they, they knew who we were and where we lived. And so they were really helpful. I mean, it wasn't for them, we wouldn't have found them. Fortunately, within hours of posting the flyers, a couple who lived near the Sydney Glen Elementary School about a kilometer from the Roller's home, called to say they had spotted Blazer limping around in the schoolyard. Hello, um, hi, uh, I saw your lost dog flyer. I just saw it now and I think I have seen Blazer hanging around the schoolyard. You're down by the school, is that where you saw my dog? I will call you again if I see him. Okay, we're gonna head down right now. We um, found him with the zip ties on his front leg and his back leg. His back leg looked really swollen and his paws were spread apart. And his back paw was really spread apart. Blazer was filled with joy to see the familiar faces of David and Daniel Roller and managed to slowly hobble to his caring family. He was just relieved to see us. But I was really happy to see him. And um, then we picked him up and put him in our van and we told other people thank you for watching him and making sure he doesn't wander off into the road. And then um, once we passed Sydney Glen to our house, my dad called my mom and kept on telling her to go get um, scissors because we were trying to cut the zip ties off. 
Hey, we've got Blazer, and he's got something tied around his foot. I need you to get some scissors immediately. Please. And we're on our way home, okay? Please. All right, bye-bye. Mm -hmm. His back paw was black and blue. We immediately cut the zip ties off of the front paw. The back paw was very difficult to cut it off because the tissue was four times the size it should be. We finally got it cut off and my sister and I rushed into the animal hospital. Let's get the bath leg now. Let's work on that one. I gotta... Okay, ready? Okay, you... Okay, cut it off the bath leg. Okay, I'm gonna hold him, okay? You do the bath leg. Ready? Go. Ready? Go. Okay. There you go, buddy. Okay. All right, we're gonna have to rush him to the vet now, okay, buddy? At the animal hospital, Katie Roller was told that the only way to save Blazer was to amputate his leg and that it would cost about 4,000 US dollars for the operation and related medical expenses. The Rollers were experiencing very challenging times, especially since Katie had just been in the car accident and could not work and Mr. Roller's painting business had been affected by an ongoing economic recession. They stabilized him, gave him pain medication, and prepped for surgery that next morning. And the next morning, his leg was amputated, and we worked out a payment plan with the vet clinic. I came home to tell Daniel that we were going to be able to keep his dog. Yes. And my son was so happy. We were just excited, and Wendy had to figure out how we were going to come up with some money. Young Daniel responded immediately by formulating a plan to help pay for Blazer's veterinary bills. When I broke the news to Daniel, the first thing he did was went up to his bedroom, grabbed his snowboard, grabbed his Xbox. It's like, all right, let's go sell all our stuff. He went, he went door to door selling his video games, trying to raise money to save his dog. He's a very selfless child. He, he definitely thinks about other people. When the big tsunami hit, he gave up his birthday and raised money for the Red Cross. He had a big swimming party and invited everyone, invited the whole school, had his party at the high school and invited everybody he knew and said, hey, I don't want a birthday present, donate to the Red Cross. And I think he was six when that happened, so he's just been a very selfless child and saving his dog was just a instant thought of his mind. He's like, well, I gotta save my dog. And I was really surprised and proud that he didn't care about his video games. He loves his video games, believe me. Yeah. He, he loves yeah. his video games and <laughs> he just yeah. wanted to make money and save his dog. I really love Blazer and then um, I give up my TV, my Xbox, everything I had just to save him. In addition to Daniel's caring contribution, which included selling his bike, Katie Roller made a tremendous sacrifice by parting with her wedding ring. I have a wedding band that was not soldered to my engagement ring and it's the first thing that went. It was loaded with diamonds, I sold it, went straight to the vet, put that $700 down and from there we were trying to sell laptops. We got rid of our brand new laptop uh, he was trying to get rid of his motorcycle. We were just trying to sell everything we, we could thinking, think of. It was worth it. I, I totally would do it again to save my dog. A local newspaper featured an article about the family's situation. And as a result, people in the community and nationwide generously donated the funds to pay for Blazer's procedure. Moved to tears upon hearing Blazer's story, Supreme Master Ching Hai offered 4,000 US dollars to help out the family and sent gifts including vegan chocolates and her international number one bestsellers, The Birds in My Life, The Dogs in My Life, and The Noble Wilds, as well as several other books, DVDs, and CDs. She also provided vegan dog treats, food and toys for Blazer, and an electronic keyboard and bicycle for Daniel, along with lots of hugs and kisses for them both. This 
Supreme Master Ching Hai also asked our local association members to give Katie Roller a new wedding style ring from her SM Jewelry Collection to express her gratitude and love to the Rollers for saving Blazer's life. Thank you so very much. Isn't that beautiful, Christy? Oh my goodness, that is beautiful. I would like to say a special thank you to Supreme Master Ching Hai for her generosity and love and support that she has sent to my family. Her generosity is just amazing. I am completely dumbfounded that somebody loves my family and loves my dog as much as I do, and she wants to help my family, and I, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so very much for your kindness, your love and support, and your prayers. Thank you very much. I'd like to say a really special thank you to Supreme Master Jim High for giving our family this wonderful time and giving Glacier all new types of food and toys. And she's a really good person, and she should be especially Thank you. I appreciate this so much. I could put a fence up for him. Get him that back wheel that he needs so he doesn't have to put so much weight on his leg that's hurting him. Get him back into shape. We appreciate this so much. Expressing further concern for the family, Supreme Master Ching Hai asked to be updated on how the rollers were doing. Blazer is recovering well under his family's loving care. We brought him home one day after surgery. He's doing really good. Um, we have to get him a wheel to get him up and moving again, get some exercise going for him. And we're gonna build some ramps for him because he can't make it up the stairs anymore. But he's really happy. He's happy to be home. The first day we brought him home, he was happy. He knew right. where when, he was. was My son asked to move his bedroom downstairs so he could sleep with his dog now. So he's moved into the living room, but that way they can sleep together every night like they used to. We'll be sure to keep you updated on how Blazer's doing and the care he's going to receive from your donations. Thank you very much. Our sincere thanks to the Rollers for showing their community through their benevolent actions that our animal companions are truly our family members, as well as to the people of Port Orchard, Washington, and others in the USA for quickly coming together to pay for Blazer's veterinary bills. May all be inspired by this story of kindness and selfless devotion, and let us always treat each and every animal friend with love and respect. Happy viewers, thank you for joining us today on Animal World, our co-inhabitants. Coming up next is enlightening entertainment after noteworthy news. May all beings be embraced with heaven's everlasting love. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash aw 